couple months ago, I posted up a whole day in the life like keto video. And at the end of that video, I made a burger recipe. That is the way a keto burger should look. That people in the comment section went crazy over. So now we are making it in its own dedicated video. And this is going to be a summer barbecue ranch, pork rind infused, just burger mayhem. So we're gonna throw it on the smoker, we're gonna throw it on the Traeger in just a minute. We have some eggs in the mix. Let me show you what you need for this recipe. It is so basic. All right, so in this case, I've got a couple pounds of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. Now I went with 96% lean because I try to go as lean as I possibly can because I want the fats coming in from sources that I can control, which in this case, I've got Pecorino Romano, which is an aged form of sheep's cheese. So basically Pecorino Romano is like Parmesan, but made from goat or cheese milk. So it's a little bit different there. I have roasted garlic. And this one is already pre-roasted. I got this one, they're uh, garlic and some olive oil. So I'm gonna throw those in the actual burgers themselves. Just a few of them. I don't want too much prebiotic fiber. This shouldn't be here. And then I've got some beet sauerkraut. This is gonna go on top of the burger as an option, which we'll get to when we get there. And then I'm also am tossing it up with some sprouts. So these are just regular alfalfa sprouts. Then we have Vital Farms Pasture Raised Organic Eggs. Now, organic and pasture raised is about as good as you can get, okay? So pasture raised is what you wanna aim for. Organic matters, but not as much. Cage-free doesn't really matter at all because it doesn't mean anything these days. You always go for pasture raised, organic pasture raised, even better. The cool thing is we're using pork rinds. So if you've ever made burgers before and you try to like get them to have some crunch or anything like that, it's really difficult, especially if you're on keto, you can't even put breadcrumbs in, you can't even get that flavoring in. But if you use pork rinds, it's a completely different texture and it is awesome. And then we don't even have to use any spices because today I'm gonna be using barbecue ranch. Okay. And today, So in this case, don't even have to season it up because I'm gonna be using Primal Kitchen Barbecue Ranch. <laughs> okay, so first things first, for every two pounds of beef, you're just gonna use one egg just to mix it up. Okay, so super easy, I'm gonna add that in. Okay, look at the deep orange color of that egg. That's how you know that it's good, pasture raised, rich in a lot of beta carotene, everything that you need to, well, I don't know, vitamin A, everything you need is as fat soluble vitamins that you're looking for on keto. All right, now the fun part. This is where it gets a little weird. We're actually going to put pork rinds into the burger, which is just different in and of itself. So I just crumple them up. The funny thing is people think that pork rinds are like this terrible fat. The reality is pork rinds are pretty high in monounsaturated fat. There's not a lot of regular saturated fat. And out of all the meat profiles, pork is actually the better fatty acid profile. Now I go, we're cooking beef here, but we're adding support to it. We're getting that, just that crunch that we're after. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add a few garlic cloves in there. Okay, I'm not gonna add a lot. Okay, now we can add this marinade in. So this is Barbecue Ranch from Primal Kitchen. Now, I always talk about Thrive Market. The Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store. I'm always talking about them on my channel because you can get your groceries delivered right to your doorstep. They have a ton of Primal Kitchen foods on there. So if you use the link down below and check out Thrive Market and go ahead and use them down the link below and you select Primal Kitchen as your free gift, you can get Primal Kitchen as your free gift, but also save 25% off your membership with Thrive Market. So again, you select Primal Kitchen as your free gift and then you get your 25% off your Thrive Market membership and you get your Primal Kitchen gift. So in this case, I'm just gonna add a liberal amount here. And this is all made with avocado oil, okay? So in this case, the ingredients here are awesome. We have avocado oil, white balsamic vinegar, grape musk, white distilled vinegar, tiny bit of honey, crushed tomatoes, sea salt, eggs, gum acacia, guar gum, like super easy, clean stuff. There's only two grams of carbs in a couple tablespoons of this, so it's perfect on this keto burger dish here. Okay, then you wanna mix it really, look at, how yellow that egg is. It almost looks like mustard. Like that's that's how you know you have a very micronutrient rich egg. That's exactly what we are after. Now the Pecorino Romano here, which is the goat cheese, that's gonna come in after the fact. We could mix it in if we really wanted to, but I think it kind of tastes good shaved on top rather than mixed in because, I don't know, sometimes it can just get a little bit goopy, but I guess we can go ahead and mix it in. Let's do that. So in this case, I'm just gonna shave a little bit into there. It doesn't really matter too much because it's gonna melt. Oops. 
So the interesting thing, the reason you go with goat cheese versus a regular cheese in this case, is it's a different protein blend. So it's a different form of casein protein. Now, regular cheese is going to have what is called BCM7 in it. It's a bioactive opioid. And when you look at goat cheese or Pecorino Romano, the aging process breaks down those proteins a little bit more. So it's a, just a better cheese, easier for your body to assimilate. Not to mention goat cheese or sheep's cheese is going to be A2 casein protein. So it's just a better for you protein in the first place. Not to mention it's richer in MCT. So if you're doing keto, yeah, then you end up with, well, a few more ketones. Go ahead and mix this up. Flavoring should be pretty rock solid. I might add a little bit more of that marinade. You don't want to add more than one egg because then it just gets really runny. One egg is just enough just to kind of get that binding going. Yeah, let's add some more pork rinds in. Probably gonna use this whole bag anyway. this a little more barbecue ranch flavor salt now the trick here you have to use a pop patrol plate while you are making these burgers okay but really you don't want to make these burgers too big because otherwise the pork rinds just they don't if they end up in the middle they don't end up cooked through all the way they just kind of end up a little soggy you actually want them to get a little crispy okay so don't make burgers too too big in fact that one might even be a little bit big probably want to aim for um i'd say about four four inches or so is kind of your your goal if i were to say four inches in diameter there big chunk of garlic on that one okay now that's all mixed up we're gonna head out i've got the grill warmed up so Let's do this. And it's really not rocket science. I'm not an ultimate grill master, but I can tell you it's really not hard. Okay, in this case, I like to heat them at a relatively high heat on one side for a good three minutes or so. And then I flip them and heat them for another three or four minutes on high heat. And then I flip them again, reduce the heat a little bit more. Now with a Traeger or a smoker, it's a little bit different because it doesn't cook the same way like a grill does. So you really should kind of close it to get the full effect. But if you're using a regular grill, I'd leave it open for a little bit, flip it, still leave it open, reduce the temperature, and then close it. That way it's gonna kind of lock the flavoring in, locks the juices in. But I'm using such a lean meat that it's not gonna lock in a bunch of the fat anyway. So I don't wanna say it's gonna be a dry burger, but I would rather have a dry burger coming from the meat than add the cheese, knowing that I'm getting the fat that I want. But it's not gonna be dry. We have enough fat, we have enough cheese, we have enough avocado oil coming in from that Primal Kitchen uh, barbecue ranch as well. So now we're gonna go fry up a couple of eggs. I'll show you something cool. <laughs> More stuff that I get from Thrive Market. This is this fourth and heart ghee oil spray. I love cooking with ghee because if you cook with butter, sure, it's a great flavor, but it starts to burn at high heat. It doesn't have a high smoke point. Ghee has a very high smoke point, plus it's super high in butyrate. It's one of the only fats out there that is high in butyric acid, which is a fat that your body typically has to break. It's a short chain fatty acid, so it's a very short chain fat that your body normally has to break down all kinds of fibers and different compounds into create. In this case, you actually get it straight from ghee, so it's very good for the gut, exceptionally good for the gut, also converts into ketones very fast. Okay, so I'm gonna liberally get some ghee in there. Get this to a decently high temperature. And again, we get these nice, good, organic, pasture-raised eggs. I should be able to put three in this pan here. Oh, so we can do one more. Okay. Oh. And also, let me say a big thank you to Primal Kitchen and Thrive Market for the continued support on this channel as well. They have been here for the last four or five years that this channel has been growing, and they just continue to not only make great products, but also make it so that I can continue to create this awesome content and awesome recipes. So big thank you to them. Don't forget to check them out down below in the description. Let's go flip some burgers. These eggs look like they are just the way we like them. I like them kind of over medium, so they're still a little bit runny, but they actually like hold their own a little bit. I'll put those off to the side for now. So in this case, like Trader Joe's has this really cool New Zealand grass-fed cheddar. So if you're gonna go for like a regular cheese, try to go for a grass-fed, grass finish if you can. Kerrygold makes some really good cheeses, but Trader Joe's, this one's pretty darn good. It's a very sharp cheddar. So anyway, I sliced up some of the Pecorino Romano that I'm gonna put on some of the pieces of, uh, some of the burgers. 
And then for my wife and my son, I'm going to go ahead and use some sharp cheddar. Try to avoid the softer cheeses because they're a little bit less ketogenic friendly. So try to avoid the mozzarella, try to avoid the jack, try to go with like the Parmesan, the Pecorino Romano, even the regular Romano is good to go. Go for like the super aged cheddar, go for uh, even the Gruyere or anything like that. Some kind of aged Gruyere is great. Uh, Swiss cheese, any kind of high altitude cheese is going to be richer in conjugated linoleic acid, which is really good for overall just metabolism and body composition in the first place. Yeah. So this is clover and radish sprouts. You can use alfalfa sprouts, whatever you want. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the side, use it as sort of like an option. I don't think my son's gonna really have this, but all of us adults here will. Let's go check those burgers. Yeah, this is like a Just another minute. I know my son's gonna be all over the ketchup, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get his ketchup ahead of time. This Primal Kitchen ketchup also is just super awesome, by the way. It's organic, it's unsweetened. So only two grams of carbs. Compare that to regular ketchup, it's just a no-brainer. Also the buffalo sauce is super, super good too. In the 4505 pork rinds, you can get through Thrive Market as well, but you can just get them at Costco, you can get them anywhere. Um, this is the classic chili and salt. I use the regular sea salt flavor. They have a jalapeno flavor, they have a fuego, like a super hot flavor, just all just super delicious. Whenever I'm meal prepping or baking burgers or anything, the ones that I do, the ones that I plan to eat that night, I will go ahead and I'll put cheese on. Otherwise, I leave the cheese off of them. That way I'm not at the mercy of the cheese. Like if I want to have a burger tomorrow, I don't necessarily want the cheese midday. So anyway, let's go with my wife here. This looks like one that Tommy would like. Let's give him one that doesn't have a lot of garlic in this one. And I know JR and I want the pecorino. We got that. Extra garlic for me. There's a the garlic. Let that melt for a bit. In this case, I'm gonna to be topping the burgers, at least for JR and I, because Amber's not a big sauerkraut person. This is beet and fennel sauerkraut. Now, it's not actual beets, but in this case, it's cabbage with some beets in there, but the main shreds aren't beets. The colors obviously come in the beets. Fennel, which gives a nice flavor, sea salt, and that is it. Okay, so very simple, very clean. Cabbage naturally ferments. So it ends up being rich in what is called lactobacillus, different strains of lactobacillus. Now, the interesting thing, any kind of sauerkraut or fermented food like kimchi, it's not like it's a probiotic, okay? It has naturally occurring bacteria that's going to ferment, but it doesn't mean that it's a probiotic. It just means that it is going to be a fermented food, which can help contribute to a more stable microbiome and more diversity, but you're not, it's not like taking a probiotic. So slight, you know, a little bit of confusion that happens there. Just, I don't know, inconsistency just inconsistencies in how people explain it. But this tastes delicious. The contrast of this on the burger, it's just unreal. You can tell a good quality cheese like Pecorino where, look at how the cheddar has melted so much and the Pecorino is so hard and aged, it doesn't even melt all the way. It's, believe it or not, kind of what I'm after with this. Hard to aged cheeses are the main go-to on keto. Shoot, no, ruined that beautiful one. Here's for Tommy. Go ahead and put a nice tasty egg on there for him. Give him the one without a lot of Love that. Okay, this one's gonna be for Amber. A wonderful bread. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll give it out. There you go, Amber. <laughs> one that fell on the tip. Extra garlic you want, I think this, yeah. this, one. this one. That's a small one. Yeah, screw that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Big boys gotta eat. Two, one, two, one, one, and one full. Get a nice taste to add to this is the buffalo sauce. That one's a really good one too, if you want to just add a little bit extra flavor to it. I'm gonna have a little bit of ketchup on the side of this too. Tommy's, Amber's, Mars. Hey babe, we're pretty much good. Jimmy. Okay, top it off, some Brussels sprouts, some olive oil, some nutritional yeast. A little bit of that ghee oil spray. Add that to give us some more. If you've never tried Brussels sprouts or asparagus with nutritional yeast and ghee, you gotta try it now. Sometimes the side dish is the star of the show with this whole thing. Anyhow, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market down below in the description. Let's go ahead, let's see how this came out. Gotta get everything on there. Oh my God, I remember. 
I remember why that dish was so popular. The bite from the garlic, the Pecorino Romano, it has a bite to it. It's just different. And then the egg, especially this particular Vital Farms egg, just a different texture, smooth. Then the crunch from the pork rinds. Then the tanginess from that overall fermented flavor just from the cabbage. Game changer. You have to try this one. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. Mmm, there you go. Nice big bite. Yeah, the garlic and the burgers is definitely a win. That came out good. I'm so good. Thank you. Yeah, I want to stand and eat. Thank you, though. Um, this one. Cool, you're good at that one, buddy. Yeah. I'm good at cooking at everybody. I'm the quickest in that ever burn.